Imagine waking up to find a massive crack in your backyard, stretching as far as the eye can see. This isn't just a nightmare. It's becoming reality for some in East Africa. But what's causing this continental rift, and could it really split the African continent in two? We're about to find out. Africa, the cradle of humanity, is undergoing a dramatic change. A huge crack, part of the Eastern African rift, is slowly tearing the continent apart. This isn't just any ordinary geological event. It's reshaping the face of an entire continent. Can you picture two separate African landmasses with a new ocean between them? This process is happening right now, albeit at a snail's pace. The Somali plate is moving away from the larger African plate, creating a divergent boundary. It's a slow dance of continents that's been going on for millions of years. But what does this mean for Africa's future? Let's explore the fascinating world of African geology and uncover the truth behind this continental split. As we explore the geological forces shaping Africa's future, let's take a moment to appreciate the continent's present-day magnificence. Did you know that Africa is a land of incredible superlatives? It's a continent that defies simple description, boasting some of the world's most awe-inspiring natural wonders and diverse cultures. Let's start with its sheer size. Africa is the second largest continent on Earth, covering an astounding area of about 30.2 million square kilometers. To put that into perspective, you could fit the United States, China, India, and most of Europe within Africa's borders, and still have room to spare. But Africa's vastness isn't just about land area. It's home to 54 recognized countries, more than any other continent. Can you imagine the rich tapestry of cultures, languages, and traditions that exist within these nations? It's estimated that over 3,000 distinct ethnic groups call Africa home, speaking more than 2,000 languages. This cultural diversity is truly unparalleled. Now, let's talk about Africa's natural wonders. Have you ever dreamed of crossing the Sahara Desert? This vast expanse of sand and rock in northern Africa is the largest hot desert in the world covering an area of about 3.6 million square miles. It's a place of extreme beauty and harsh conditions, where nature's power is on full display. And what about the mighty Nile River? Flowing through Egypt and several other African countries, the Nile stretches an incredible 6,650 kilometers, making it the longest river in the world. For thousands of years, this life-giving waterway has shaped civilizations and continues to be vital to millions of people today. Africa's landscape isn't just about vast deserts and rivers, though. It's also home to towering mountains. Mount Kilimanjaro in Tanzania stands tall at 5,895 meters, claiming the title of Africa's highest peak and the world's highest freestanding mountain. Imagine the view from up there. When it comes to wildlife, Africa is in a league of its own. It's the continent where you can find the largest land mammal, the African elephant, and the fastest land animal, the cheetah, roaming in their natural habitats. The diversity of animal life here is simply breathtaking. But Africa's riches aren't limited to what's above ground. Beneath the surface, the continent is blessed with an abundance of natural resources. From oil and gas to diamonds and gold, Africa's mineral wealth has played a significant role in shaping its history and continues to be a major factor in its economic development. As we consider the geological changes that may reshape Africa's future, it's important to remember the incredible continent we see today. Its vast landscapes, rich cultures, and abundant resources make Africa truly unique, a land of superlatives that continues to captivate and inspire people around the world. As we journey into the heart of Africa's geological transformation, have you ever wondered what a continent in the process of splitting looks like? The answer lies in the Eastern African Rift, a vast crack in the Earth's surface that stretches an incredible 6,000 kilometers from the Red Sea in the north to Zimbabwe in the south. This isn't just any ordinary crack. It's nature's own continental divide, slowly reshaping the face of Africa. Imagine standing on the edge of this massive rift gazing out at a landscape that's quite literally being torn apart. What you're witnessing is the dance of tectonic plates, the giant puzzle pieces that make up Earth's crust. These plates are constantly on the move, driven by forces deep within our planet. In Africa, this movement is creating a spectacular geological show. At the center of this drama is the Somali plate, 
a chunk of Earth's crust that's decided to go its own way. This plate is slowly but surely moving away from the larger African plate, creating what geologists call a divergent boundary. It's like watching a slow-motion divorce between two parts of a continent. But what happens when these plates move apart? The answer is both beautiful and dramatic. As the plates separate, they create long, deep valleys known as rift valleys. These aren't your average valleys. They're the birthplaces of future oceans. Can you picture it? The ground beneath your feet slowly sinking, forming a vast depression that might one day be filled with seawater. This process isn't happening overnight, though. The formation of the Somali Plate began way back in the late Jurassic period, about 160 million years ago. That's when the supercontinent Gondwana started to break apart, setting the stage for the Africa we know today. Since then, the rift valleys have been widening and deepening, inch by inch, year after year. As this continental split continues, it's leaving its mark on the landscape. The western edge of the Somali Plate traces a path right through a series of lakes that have formed due to all this tectonic activity. These lakes are more than just beautiful bodies of water. They're windows into the Earth's geological processes. But lakes aren't the only features born from this continental rift. The movement of tectonic plates also leads to soil displacement, creating natural dams that can form even more lakes. And let's not forget about the volcanoes. Both active and dormant volcanoes, the landscape along these divergent plate boundaries, adding another layer of excitement to this geological spectacle. So, what does the future hold for this splitting continent? Well, if the Somali plate continues on its current path, it's expected to eventually break away completely from the African plate. When that happens, ocean water will rush in to fill the gap, creating a brand new sea. It's like watching the birth of a new ocean in slow motion. Have you ever wondered how long it takes for a continent to split in two? The answer might surprise you. While we've been exploring the dramatic changes happening in Africa, it's important to understand that this isn't a process that happens overnight. In fact, the time scale of continental rifting is so vast, it's almost beyond human comprehension. Let's put this into perspective. The formation of the Somali Plate, which is causing the split we're seeing today, began about 160 million years ago. That's right. This process started when dinosaurs still roamed the Earth. Can you imagine the patience it takes to be a geologist, studying changes that occur over such enormous spans of time? But don't worry, you don't need to wait millions of years to see the effects of this continental dance. Even though the big changes happen slowly, there are some observable effects happening right now. Earthquakes and landslides are common occurrences along the rift, causing soil displacement and reshaping the landscape bit by bit. These geological events are like nature's way of reminding us that the Earth is always in motion, even if we can't always see it. So, what does this mean for the future of Africa? If the rifting process continues as it has been, eventually the continental crust could fully break apart, leading to the creation of a new ocean basin. But don't start planning your beach vacation just yet. This process could take tens of millions of years to complete. It's a reminder of just how patient Mother Nature can be when it comes to reshaping our world. As we've seen, the Earth's crust is constantly moving, but what will Africa look like in the distant future? Picture this. Millions of years from now, the African continent as we know it may no longer exist. Instead, we might see two separate landmasses with a brand new ocean between them. This isn't science fiction. It's the potential long-term outcome of the rifting process we're witnessing today. Imagine standing on the shore of this new ocean, looking out at waters that once were land. The Somali Plate, continuing its slow journey eastward, could eventually break away completely from the African Plate. This separation would create a new seaway, forever changing the map of Africa. But remember, Earth's geological processes never truly end. Even as this new ocean forms, other changes will be underway. We're not just witnessing the potential birth of a new ocean, but the ongoing evolution of our planet. It's a humbling reminder of the constant change beneath our feet.